Hey everyone, this is Alex USA Days, and we continue with REST API testing with Postman. And uh, today we're going to talk about HTTP methods. We're in module four. Now, what are HTTP methods? APIs use HTTP methods to perform operations on resources, which are typically represented by the uh, URLs. These resources could be anything from users, orders, products, or any other entities that the API manages. HTTP methods are used to define the specific operations that can be performed on the resources exposed by the API. Each HTTP method corresponds to a particular type of action. So here are the most common HTTP methods. The first one is GET, and a GET will retrieve information from the server. It is used to fetch a resource or a list of resources from the server. An example here would be we're trying to get uh, API users to, and it would retrieve the users with the ID too. It returns data in the response body, typically in formats like JSON or XML. Uh, the get method should not modify any server data. Next uh, method is post. Post will send data to the server to create new resource, used to create a new resource on the server. Example would be post, uh, then we have the URL, uh, for the users and that would create a new user on the server. Typically it will also return data in the response body uh, of a newly created resource in JSON or XML format. The server usually responds with a success status to one and body of created resource. The next one is put. Put will update an existing resource or create if it doesn't exist. It's used to update resource entirely, replacing it with the new one provided in the request body. An example of put would be sending, actually put the, to the same endpoint, so users uh, to, forward slash to, and it would update user to on the server. If the resource does not exist, some APIs might create it with put method. The next one is patch. Patch will apply partial modification uh, to a resource. So it's used to partially update a resource. An example, running patch method on user2 would partially update user2 on the server with whatever information is provided in the patch body. Unlike put, patch only modifies the specified fields in the resource, leaving the rest unchanged. If the resource um, the user in this case does not exist, it will return an error message in status 404 or 400, depending on the implementation. And for example, put will create new resource, right? Most likely. So in this case, uh, patch will not gonna do that. And the last one is delete. Uh, delete will remove a resource from the server and it's used to delete resource identified by the URL. An example would be if we run delete method to user number two, it would delete user on the server. And then the server typically will respond with a status code uh, 204 no content if the deletion was successful or 404 not found if the resource doesn't exist. Okay, uh, so let's see some examples of this in uh, the resource. On this link, HTTPS uh, recres.in, so it's an open API, uh, available online that you can kind of practice. So we're gonna be sending the request by just pressing on the get or post uh, or put or patch or delete buttons. So you will see the request body here in this column, and then you will see response coming back in here. So for example, if I'll try to reach get list users, it will send API to this uh, URL or URI, uh, I can also open it in a new tab and you can see the full link to the request right here at the top, right? And you will see the whole response coming back from it. So I send get method to a users um, page two, right? And got the response 200, meaning a successful response. So it's page two, per page we have uh, six users it's total number of users 12, total number of pages is two. And then inside we have some data. So 
we have all the users listed so user 7 user 8 and so on and so on and so on with all the information about the users so this particular endpoint will list all of the users now if i want to send it to a specific user let's say in this case single user i can do get get and then in the request i just provide the user id in the link and i will get only user 2 right and I will get the ID, the email, first name, last name, avatar, whatever is uh, present there. So essentially, um, however the API is structured, you will get the data back in the structure that is uh, was built in into that API. So if I'll click on the request link here, open it in new window. So let's say instead of user two, I will say I want to get user seven. Run it, and now you see I can. I see, uh, and now you see I get users with ID seven and all information about that particular user, right? So the next one is um, post. So post will create a user. Again, we provide just the link where to send this request and the body. So we're trying to create a user named Morpheus and the job of the user is leader. I click on the post, uh, method it will create the user will give me 201 response so saying that the user was successfully created and the information about the user that was created so the body comes back it says that okay user was named Morpheus is created uh, its job is leader and it assigned ID uh, to that user and gave it a timestamp when it was created right the next one would be update so I can update again sending a request to user 2 now I updated Morpheus and instead of a uh, job leader, there's another job provided here and uh, it will still take the whole body and update the whole thing with your content that you're sending out using put method. Uh, it comes back as updated resource with a new job uh, for that particular ID, right? Then if I want to patch it, I can send only information that I want to patch. Uh, it looks identical here was put in patch because it's a small example, but I could patch just one line and it will update one line. Unlike put where you send like the whole body and it updates everything in the resource. And uh, the last one, if I want to delete resource, I'll send a method delete. And actually, let me see in the networking tab. If I click, does it actually send it? Oh, yes, it does. So I clicked on... Um, I clicked on delete and you can see in the networking tab there was a request send to uh, users to delete and it's returned 204 no content. So essentially when I send a request out to delete a user it's uh, returning 204 saying you know this user no longer exists and we essentially deleted user number two. Okay so this are the main um, methods for HTTP and in the next video we're going to talk about status codes and what kind of status codes exist there we'll have some examples visibles and we slowly getting into the place where we'll be comfortable to actually send our own request and then start testing the API um, to make sure that it provides correct responses okay so this was Alex USA days thanks for watching and bye bye